some 16 excavators believed to be used by illegal miners in the wanton district and pollution of uh, in the wanton destruction and pollution of rivers have been seized by the Western Regional Security Council. The security team made up of Operation Vanguard, Immigration, National Security, with support from their Memphis West District Assembly, stormed some illegal mining site as Samra Boy in an anti-Galamse operation dubbed Clean Water. Western Regional Minister Kwabna Otreda Kumensa, who led the operation, managed to seize 16 of the excavators being used to mine in the Tano River. More in this report. Scenes of destruction and degradation were visible from miles away. Abandoned pits and mining settlements dot the road leading into what is left for the once vast arable cocoa farm. After navigating through the dangerous terrain of open pits filled with water, we arrived at the mining settlement directly on the river tunnel. The Tano River, which runs through these cocoa farms, has turned muddy with no sign of life. What beats my mind is that this operation they've been doing, illegal operation, is close to the river, the Tano River. Look at how bad, turbid it has become. So when this one goes all the way to the south, it becomes difficult to control. So this is not even those who are directly sitting on top of the river, but these are people who are, whose act, actions are just too close to the river. And what beats my mind is that they keep pumping their waste into the river with all the chemicals and the stuff, and I believe that that's not the way to go. Tens of polytanks and barrels filled with diesel were found on the site, but illegal miners were nowhere to be found as the tax force believes someone has given them information of their coming. The vast cocoa farm depicts scenes of cocoa trees cut and buried in mud. Shamfans have been left in the pits by the illegal miners. So it is not the first and last we are doing. We will also be going to other sites unannounced and we'll be arresting as many people as um, we can get hold of. Um, today we are doing three operations. One in Takwa area, one in uh, Elembele. Elembele, we've been able to arrest four people. We're sending them to second day. And we are sending the excavators also to uh, Asenkegwa and take some of the equipment all the way to Accra. So we want people to understand that we are going to fight this menace to the last to make sure that Ghanaians can live in peace and have water to drink. Um, if you look at what, how bad this um, river has become turbid, it shows that we have to spend more money as a country to correct it. And I believe that that is not the best way to go. Um, we'll be able to get water, good water for our people if we continue this type of action. Um, so we are, we, are, we are working on and we'll be moving on to other places. And we'll be coming back to check and making sure that what we've succeeded in doing today will last so that this business of people <laughs> illegally mining our gold doesn't go on. If these things are happening on the lands of chiefs and they are not reporting, I mean, nobody can tell me that they are not away. They are away. Because if you look around, you can see cocoa farms. Mm. So the cocoa farmers are also selling their cocoa. And naturally, the chief will hear that people are selling their cocoa. And I believe that even cocoa board, they should even give, let them give us indication as to what um, is happening. So we can also chase them up and make sure that we can secure these places for, for the good of the country. And so, on. so I believe that the chiefs should now consider themselves as real partners in the fight against illegal mining. Municipal Chief Executive for Aminfi West, George Ejri, assures they are going to arrest anyone connected to such illegalities. We are requesting uh, outboard motors. So the Vatando is just here, and the airways go straight to the Vatando. We are requesting outboard motors permanently on the Vatando to patrol. But these people, though they are not permanently on the Vatando, but their ways goes in the Vatando. Whilst we are patrolling, we will see everybody who is along the river body. The western region is most likely to battle acute water shortage if illegal mining continues on its water bodies, as the Ghana Water Company has already confirmed the difficulties they are encountering in providing portable water to residents. For Joy News, in Athalia Kwansa, Samra Boy.